hey guys it's your girl lindsay and welcome back to my channel before we get into it don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications thank you so for today's video we will be using the noir two times value pack crochet hair human hair type listen i just found this here in a beauty supply store and i was like why not and they didn't have it in black that's why i got that brown color and you know how we do it over here we work with what we had so what i'm doing here is just parting out the sections for my hair because if you can tell well you probably tell by the title but now we're going to be doing some flat twists with like a side updo action i actually got inspiration for this hairdo from Issa Rae. if you're not familiar with Issa Rae, she's the main character in the show insecure which i love and you know she always have some bomb natural hairstyle so i just i just kind of did it and put my own little spin on it just a little bit so i'm just gonna section off my hair and prepare to do the flat twist so to start out i'm just going to be using my shine and jam and my maurice beeswax and then i'm just going to be putting those at my roots i don't know why i keep thinking like base on my hair but at my roots you guys know what i mean by my scalp because you know we're just trying to keep it as neat as possible and give it that shiny look and such and then we're just going to prepare for the flat twist now guys i am not the best flat twister if you can't tell by now i'm not the best braider but we make it work and practice makes perfect with everything so i start out by just grouping like a section of the hair and i wish i could like explain it but better but you guys know i'll show you better than i can tell you and then i honestly just start flat twisting now sometimes on a flat twist it kind of come out like a twine looking thing but i actually think i got the flat twist down for this look i think um but i made it work so i just went ahead and i just flat twist that section and then when i'm done i'm just going to go ahead and secure it with an elastic band which i did put in oil by the way before just before i put it in my hair just to prevent any breakage when i decide to you know unravel the flat twist okay guys i'm just going to go ahead and do another flat twist I honestly that's all I, it's those same steps being repeated i'm just going to be flat twisting around my head and then securing with a rubber band and then just gathering everything into a small bun this look this entire look took me about an hour to complete and if you're a faster braider than i am it can probably take you maybe 40 to 45 minutes to be honest so it's literally the same steps i'm doing shine and jam maris beeswax flat twist secure with a rubber band all the way around my head now we get to the fun part and you guys already know doing the back of my head is <laughs> always something to just i always just have a laugh if you've been watching me for a while you know i'm using my struggle mirror to help me with this section already and you guys know i'm sure all my natural ladies out there know when we're doing our hair for a while our arms start burning so it took some real upper body strength to to do this flat twist at the back so same steps guys until we've completed our whole head
so right here i'm just quickly using my fingers to just measure the other section at the back of my head just to make sure they're like the same size for the flat twist you know just make it as close to the same size as possible and then just go ahead and we flat twist okay guys so when we're done we're just going to gather the section that's left out into a tiny bun if you don't want to do a bun you can do a little braid a twist just make sure you have those ends protected and out of the way because i mean this is a protective style So now I'm going to grab my hair and my crochet needle and start crocheting. So I started out by going around the bun and then I made my way, you know, just made my way around until I get my desired thickness. And then this hair, honestly, this hair is kind of weird. It's like it's it doesn't come with your regular crochet loop. It's like you kind of have to make the loop yourself and forgive me for not showing you how it looks you know out of the packaging i completely forgot i'm sorry guys so now that i finished crocheting i'm just going to remove my molding wrap and yes i know the hair is brown you probably say lindsay um the hair is brown and your hair is black i know but for this look i went in and i got some temporary hairspray and i sprayed the hair black trust me you see what I'm talking about. So now for this hair, I'm just going to try to maneuver it into the way I want it to go. Now if I look like this, you don't necessarily have to do it like this. You can leave it out. You can leave it curly. You can flex around it. You can do anything. But I remember I got inspired. So I was trying to get it to as close as the picture as possible. So now I'm just pinning the hair down and maneuvering it just the way I want it. So when I'm done maneuvering the hair, I'm just going to grab this single box braid. And this is the same braid I use in my crochet box braids rubber band corner method video. I'll link it down below. And yes, I did spray paint it black as well. And I'm just going to grab it and wrap it around that, you know, 
upper section that we have just around the base you know it's if you look back on the inspiration picture i noticed she kind of had a braid thing kind of going right there so i just added it wrapped it around and then i'm just gonna pin it okay guys so here we have the finished look as i said this look took me about an hour to complete good if you have something coming up out of the blue and you just need something quick a simple updo thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel follow me on twitter and instagram at underscore underscore lindsay beth and snapchat at love underscore lindsay i'll leave the links down below and my review on this hairspray probably a 5 out of 10 it does run and my hands were so black when i was finished had a lot of scrubbing to do if there are any looks that you've seen out there that you want me to recreate don't hesitate to let me know or you want me to do a tutorial on leave it down there in the comments below and let me know you know you think i did recreating this look again thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video till next time bye